Hello, Jim Malady here from Coldwell Banker here on, on Indian River again today. Say, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about homes and location. I just thought I'd start right and look at my ugly mug, take a look at a map here. And when you fly up here, it's really fun because we have more water up here than people realize. And here's just an overview of a map here. And obviously you've heard the saying before, location, location, location. It holds true up here too. Uh, some of the bigger lakes get a lot of money and, and some of the locations get more money too. Say now over here is actually the Monaco Woodruff area here. I don't know if this will show up on the camera very well. And it, it, here's like Lake Monaco here. There's the island. Monaco is actually on an island. And the big dollar lake is Lake Tomahawk down here. It's a very large lake, 4,000 plus acres. And that's, that's you spend a lot of money when you get that. And then obviously when you get up over here, like up to Boulder Junction and these areas. Here's Boulder Junction, and Boulder Junction is right there. And the problem with Boulder is that there isn't a lot of land there to buy. It's all state land. Uh, beautiful, beautiful country. Great bike uh, trails. Uh, just beautiful country, but there just isn't a lot of real estate available to, uh, for the public. Manitouche Waters over here, beautiful chain of lakes uh, over there, highly desirable. And then we go right to the state line and there's still a lot of water when you get into Michigan. And now, honestly, the further north we go, the less expensive property is. And there's some beautiful, stunning lakes there, but nobody wants to drive uh, that far. And that's really the issue there. And there's some beautiful lakes over here when you go to Land Lakes. This is a very large lake, the Flat Butte is there, there too. But there's some beautiful lakes over here north of Phelps. Uh, Long Lake and Smoky Lake and Golden Lake, and those are just some beautiful lakes. We get over the Eagle River uh, chain here, and it's just tons and tons. There's a, a 28 lake chain here that starts here and goes all the way down uh, over here and around down to this here. And you can boat uh, all that, uh, that whole chain, that chain of 28 lakes, so it's a lot of fun. And then down here in Rhineland, it's got a wonderful chain down here. And frankly, from a standpoint of value, that is the best value uh, that you can get in water up here. When you get down to Rhineland, there's some beautiful lakes out here too. Crescent Lake and Squash Lake. Those are wonderful lakes and they're very, very good values down there. But you can see that it's very, very, uh, a ton of water here and it's very helpful to have people that know where they're going and what lakes are actually good for what you want them for. So anyways, Jim Mulady from Cobalt Banker Mulady Realtors uh, uh, signing off and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.